Let's go over Star Wars The Last Jedi when it comes to director Ryan Johnson. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, ever since The Last Jedi released back in December of 2017, there's been a lot of backlash going against it, and since then, Ryan Johnson has been answering tons of questions and explaining certain decisions that he implemented in the film, one of which all has to do as to why he denied an Obi-Wan Kenobi Obi Force Ghost and the return of Lando Calrissian. Now, ever since we heard about the Casino City of Kanto bite during principal photography of Star Wars Episode 8, which is The Last Jedi, we always assumed that Lando Calrissian would be the character that would be one of the main characters in that part of the plot because Lando is a gambler after all and putting him in a casino world would have just made perfect sense. Anyways guys, let's go over the real reason as to why Ryan Johnson did not implement the Obi-Wan Kenobi Force Ghost and Lando Calrissian. So this is what Ryan Johnson had to say to Cinema Blend. First things first, let's go with Obi-Wan. This is what he had to say. Believe me, man, I would have loved to have had Ewan McGregor in the movie, but it was just a matter of storytelling. The original relationship with Obi-Wan, obviously if Alec Guinness were still with us, that would have made sense. But we never saw Luke ever interact with the Ewan version of Obi-Wan. So there's less of the emotional connection and it might have been a little odd. And aside from that interview with what Ryan Johnson just said there, he actually also went over how they wanted to avoid the trouble and of course avoid the hard work of going through developing a CGI Alec Guinness. Now, I want to stop right there and say that I highly do disagree with that. I feel like that if you could pull off Grand Moff Tarkin in Rogue One, I really do believe that you could very well, you know, nail it with the Obi-Wan Kenobi Force Ghost in the form of, you know, Sir Alec Guinness. I think it would have worked perfectly. But for what we got in the movie, we got Yoda. I'm just glad that we got a Force Ghost of some form but it would have been all the more epic if we had Obi-Wan or even Anakin Skywalker along his side. Now, when it comes to Lando Calrissian, this is why Ryan Johnson denied this character. He states, of course I'd love to see Lando. In terms of Lando, I briefly considered, would he work in the Benicio Del Toro part, DJ? I don't think you would ever buy that Lando would just be, well, completely betray the characters like that and have that level of moral ambiguity. Cause we love Lando and you'd come into it with the expectation and also DJ the character that they met for the purpose of Finn's character had to be a morally ambiguous character that you're not sure about, that you're guessing about. And we already know that we love the character of Lando so it just wouldn't have played out in that story wise at all. So looking at Ron Johnson's reason as to why he didn't want to implement Lando Calrissian, Billy D. Williams in The Last Jedi, all had to do with because the character of DJ would eventually betray both Finn and Rose. Now I think that they could have honestly corrected that where maybe they just bump into Lando Calrissian within, you know, let's see, let's say the Casino City of Canto Bight and they use him as guidance to find the master codebreaker and then they meet that character that's like a DJ. I think that would have played out perfectly well where you could have incorporated Lando Calrissian and his connection to DJ or the original master codebreaker which ended up not going with Rose and Finn. So looking at all of this guys, I just really feel like and hope that we do get to see Lando Calrissian in Star Wars Episode 9. It would always be great to see Billy D. Williams on the big screen again, one of my favorite characters in the Star Wars franchise. And I gotta say, Donald Glover seems like he's really gonna pull it off in Solo A Star Wars Story, so at least there's that. But anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about this below in the comments section. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support and I'll catch you guys next time.